Previously on the lateral line, the boys had a humongous kingfish at the back of the boat, which sent Milan into a chaotic, panicked little child. It was so much fun, I was laughing like crazy. This massive kingfish ate two live baits. The first live bait didn't have a hook in it. The hook came out of the live bait. Kingfish wasted it. Then it ate a second live bait, and when Milan went to set the hook, the hook didn't set. He just pulled the hook out of his mouth. It was absolute <laughs> carnage. Milan had the live bait tangled up in the burly bag, and the kingies were chasing the, the live bait in under the boat. It was just absolute chaos. I just <laughs> laughed like I haven't laughed for a very, very long time. Milan did manage to land a kingfish, and a real good kingfish at that but it had nothing on the fish that ate the two other live baits that we didn't set the hook in. So ever since then, milan has been like, dude, I just want to go back there. I want to get Kawai live baits. I want to be there at the same point of the tide. I want to be there on the same conditions at the same time of the day and just see if that fish is there again and see if this time I couldn't set a hook in him land him, get my photo with him and let him go. So that is today's plan to try and achieve just that. We've already been on the water for half the day, wanted to get on the water early, find live baits and get to that spot. So we found a school of Kawai working up on the side of a mussel farm and Milan managed to pluck a couple of nice Kawai out of that school. And then we've just been cruising around looking for a place to fish because we don't want to go to Milan's little spot until high tide. High tide's only like an hour away now. So yeah, been fishing here for a little while. Milan no sooner got live baits in the water and one of the live baits got eaten. And we assume it to be a bronzy because um, the live bait was a little bit worse for wear. But yeah, pretty soon we are gonna pull the anchor from here and we're gonna to go to Milan's little <laughs> The spot where all the chaos happened a few weeks back. Pump a billy trail there. See if we can't entice this kingfish back to the back of the boat and get him to eat. But failing that, or even if we achieve that, later today we're gonna go charging north and we're gonna spend the night on the boat tonight and we're gonna spend the night on the boat right at the point of the peninsula here and that will have us rising from our slumber tomorrow in prime country to go fishing with an awesome forecast. You lost your bait. My snapper bait. <laughs> Don't want to lose the snapper bait, eh? No. We've got one especially rigged. He can go straight on. There you go, dude. Go on, be awesome. Find that big tank. Now you've got yourself together today, eh? Yep. Big fish turns up, you know what to do, eh? Lock the drag and hold on. <laughs> Lock the drag and hold on. Got the drag locked. How about, don't catch the burly bag. Uh, what else? Don't let the live bait get off the hook. Live gonna swim up current. Strike at the right time and don't tangle in the burly bag. Did I mention there was a little bit of rain around as well, <laughs> which wasn't on the forecast. <laughs> it's raining, it's raining quite a bit. Stink one. Show me your snapper, me lad. It's not quite dinner, bro. It's not big enough for dinner. Oh, 
Oh, check it out, Milan's got dinner. Just like that. Just like that. That was good because he didn't bring anything on the boat for dinner, eh? No. But I did bring the snapper. The snapper have arrived. Dinner. Dinner is served. Almost. <laughs> Don't like fishing with one live bait in the water. <laughs> and none in the tank. Down to the last live bait. And the last booly bomb. And we've only been on the water half a day. It's not like Milan to turn up with half a day of burly supply. Sharks. <laughs> Missy Tickle. Milan's doing good on dinner duty. The boys didn't bring anything for dinner. Then it was like, well, we'll have to catch snapper as we'll be going hungry. Beauty fish. Well, that's that, eh? One each for dinner. That one's red, red. Nicely done. Sluggo time. I honestly think there's something down there. Man, that hat's just blowing out my shop, man. I'll change my hat. He wanted to eat the live because he came and looked at it twice. There he is. There he is, he's right on it. Oh, nice fish, Milan. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him, fish, get him, get him, please. <laughs> sluggo, sluggo. <laughs> He's under the boat. No uh, no doing what he did last time. <laughs> well, he wants to eat today. Yeah, we've only got the one live bait left. There he comes. Just be real careful with that livey, man. Where's our livey? Oh, look at how live he's pulling around. Oh, there he is in behind it. Oh, he oh. Be, oh, God, it's a good fish, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I reckon My he livey. was coming for the sluggo that yeah, time. I think so as well. It wants to eat. Yeah, he's ready to eat, man. You can hear yeah. oh, oh, it's not him, it's a snapper. I reckon if you get that sluggo in front of him, you've got a real good chance, man. He's fired up. It'd be good to get a surface eat on a sluggo. Scream it in and stop it at the back of the boat where I can see it. Boom far. Man's in panic mode again. Jack it off, jack it on. Hat change, life jacket, jacket, jacket. Oh man, it's all carnage, man. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Not quite as crazy as last time, but <laughs> it's good it's fun. It's a nice fish, bro. It's a real nice fish. Oh, there he is. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> Next offering is a popper. I reckon this fish is gonna eat. We just gotta put the right thing in front of him. He looks good swimming around fast. Yep. I don't know if my trace is gonna to be too heavy, but Whoa, I'll give it a go and see if he comes pilly. in. It's worked a number of times in the past. <laughs> yeah, now he can eat it. <laughs> the old splash attack. Oh, oh. I need it. I'm going to come in to find where it was. Oh, oh nice one, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, bro. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> We better no, slap the lure in the water. Yeah. It's a bigger fish than those last two. It's another fish. You reckon? Yep. That <laughs> was a good eat is what it was, bro. <laughs> it's a beautiful fish. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you better stop that thing. <laughs> 
Oh, you wouldn't believe it. We've had two or three fish hanging around and I had to change my little audio system that goes on my phone and I didn't turn the damn thing on and I got no audio on a bunch of awesome clips. The fish that Milan's just hooked, I reckon came up on a sluggo twice. I'm oh, not a sluggo, sorry, a whole pilchard and twice. <laughs> <laughs> and twice on that whole pilchard it looked like he was gonna eat it and he didn't man that fish is giving you a hiding yeah for, for the size of it yeah. <laughs> he's still great he's a more. scrapper man well mate well deserved <laughs> you work for that one eh we're just putting a bit of effort in, you know? Yeah. Well, there was a bunch of failed attempts to get that <laughs> one. <laughs> I wouldn't say failed, just didn't want to eat. Yeah. He is awesome, dude. Very cool fish. Thank you very much, Mr. Kingy. That was an awesome strike. <laughs> well, if you ask me, I smell like a kingfish now. <laughs> That's only clothes I've got, man. I got another day of fishing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get, eh? <laughs> Take that, me went. Get a wet in the face. Get a slap in the face. Pretty cool. You work all that time, you put all that effort in, and then you get a surface strike like that. The eat is all you're after. Just watching a fish come in, a big predator fish trying to feed and getting him angry and slapping that lure on the water and just watch him come in. He came right into the white water looking for what hit the water and then he just came straight in and just sucked that sluggo down. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Did you hear that? He just sucked that sluggo down. <laughs> Looks like a little bit of rain north, man. Yeah, we'll probably get wet. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it all more exciting though. Myself and Milan, come January, don't go fishing. Milan wants to take his kids and go on some holidays. I want to go camping and hunting and all of that stuff. So to give ourselves January off, we need to get a couple of shows ahead. So given the fact that Milan just caught a fish, I'm going to cut this show right here and right now. Chur chur, my brothers and sisters. Thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line. It is very, very much appreciated. We wouldn't be doing what we're doing without you watching it. So um, yeah, it is just very, very cool. And I wanna take the time right now to say a special thank you to all the men and women that came up to me at the Seeker Show in Hamilton a couple of weeks back. I was there on a very good friend of mine's taxi do me stand. I was just there to help him out, do whatever I could to help him out and people were coming up and saying, hey man, we watched the lateral line, it's awesome. Okay man, we watch your hunting videos, it's awesome. It's really good fun. And it was just real nice to get in front of people that watch the lateral line and watch my hunting videos and just, yeah, just have a yarn. It's just really, really cool to meet like-minded people. And I want to say a very, very, very big thank you to a young man, Braxton. Braxton has been watching my hunting videos and he wanted to get a photo of me with my uh, mount that I had on Simon's stand, which I was very, very proud to have there. Simon does an amazing job and yeah, anyway, to have my mount on his stand was a true honour. So um, yeah, thank you, Braxton. Very, very much appreciated, my little brother. It was uh, good to meet you. Keep up with the theory. Theory works. It's really good. And remember, <laughs> you need a sluggo in your box for Christmas. Everybody needs a sluggo. They just work so damn well. See you all again very, very soon. Oh.
Mainland, mainland, mainland. Haven't had snapper on the boat for a while. Hey, haven't we? No. Shocking, isn't it? Last trip we didn't do it. Didn't go hungry, though. Every time we should eat snapper on the boat, I reckon. That's what it's all about for me, man. Just getting mm -hmm. a fresh feed of fish. I feel like a champion. As the sun goes down. <laughs> no Nicely <one> done, <laughs> you legend! Oh. Oi! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> nice release. He must have heard I was taking him home. <laughs> <laughs> oh! All right, let's get the drone in the air, man. <laughs> Stop him, me, Lan. <laughs> Whoa, he's on his <laughs> squatted right down for this one. Me, Lan, don't you lose it, dude. <laughs> this is a good fish. Whoa, is that on the bottom? Is that on the bottom? Might be. Ah! Can we, can we, min oh, dude. Drive me over there. Drive you over there. Oh man! Um, what do I what do I do? What do I do here? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, he's off. He's off. Just keep on driving. I'm not doing anything. Is he, is he still off? No. Yep. Check out your white face, man. I, I didn't even know it was white. <laughs> You're not feeling too good, eh? I want to go back though. That's my problem. <laughs> there's big kingies man, there's there. There's so eh? many big kingies here. I can't. Oh, uh, what a dilemma. There's big kingies right there. And Milan can't go catch it. I actually don't feel too bad now that it has had like five seconds of rambling on, but um yeah, getting seasick sucks, so. NATO out! Milan out! Evidence here. <laughs> <laughs> this is why the house is taking so long. <laughs> this is why the house is taking long, long lunch breaks. Did okay. you make a house building video, man? Yeah, I've uh, got to do the voiceover. Can we do that now? Oh, shit, I haven't written it. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> man, trying to take my worker away from me. Life on site is pretty good right now. And as much as I think nothing is changing on site, little things are changing every day. But all those little things allow you to do the big things that makes the house change so much that you start thinking that it's going to be finished next week. But realistically, we're still probably five months out. Gary is here pulling cables and has started the process of wiring out the house. Macmillan's are a local electrical company. They are hunter-gatherers much like ourselves and are trying to live off the land. And it's good to be supporting local business and keeping the money in your town. Part of the build process was trying to support local, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far. Meanwhile, Andre and I have had weeks and weeks of nogging out Safites, and now it's time to start the manual slog of lining Safites, and it's hammering up panel after panel. Andre is a master nailer, and his job has no shortage of nails going into Safites. As a designer, the job has been an awesome learning curve, learning on how to pull cost out of a building and sloping safetes are not good on a budget, I can assure you of that. Flat safetes is something I've not really liked, so learning to design with flat safetes so they look amazing will be the next thing I need to sort out, as the cost savings on a build like this would be massive. 
Gary being chief electrician on site is slowly getting an understanding of the overall look of the place once complete. I'm a bit of a light fan and have spent the last 12 months collecting old lights so I can build super cool lights for the house. But first we need the wires pulled and Andre and I need to get back to hammering up and keep on nailing suffetes. The sloping suffetes on the job have almost consumed us for six weeks. Not just putting up the linings but the noggings as well. It's been a massive job that's always been just out of reach so scaffolding has been required to get the job done. With services being installed, Hamish turned up. He's famous in the land of Morrinsville. He loves to chat and always has a big smile. Plumbing the house has come with its challenges. Building a long skinny home just brings a whole level of thought process on where and how to run the pipe work to make sure you have great access to hot water and getting falls to work. So my words of wisdom for the week is if you want to build a cost effective home, don't have a long skinny house and keep away from sloping suffetes. But for me, this was the dream house and I just wanted to do it the way I wanted to do it and we'll just see how it pans out. The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods.